In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a cause and effect diagram or it is also called as the fishbone diagram. As you can see here, I've added a fish with six options and this is the effect with the red fish here. And then I've added some water effect. And when I click, it will start a kind of floating or swimming in the water. You can see here the water also moves. All right. And with the teeth and all those things I have added. And I've added one more slide where I have removed the... Uh, the background and it is only the outline so depending on the requirement you can increase or decrease these options please share like and subscribe my channel and the only channel on youtube for powerpoint where you can get 1000 plus free templates absolutely free and i have provided the link on the video description section of each video and you can support my channel through paypal or patreon so let's start the tutorial add a new slide and let's draw a fish which looks something like this but this fish I have not drawn I have just taken it from the icon so let's see how I did that one so add a new slide then go to the insert click on the icons here in the icons I am going to search for the fish so let me just type fish here and you can see here this particular icon I have chosen if you want you can just take any of this one even you can see here the fishbone diagram is already available also so whichever way you want you can just choose that one so let me just take this one uh, for the fun purpose and click on insert and you can see here this particular ins icon inserted hold the shift key and insert and increase the size then right mouse click i'm going to group and ungroup this one and this will give you this message and click yes all right you can see here these two icons are separated now now again hold the shift key and increase the size you can see here and this also i'm just going to increase the size and here without holding the shift key i'm just increasing the the height and the width also here which looks something like this you can see so let me just increase the size further make sure that it is not going beyond the slide area all right so this is i'm going to put it like this so this one i'm going to color it with some blue color this one i would like to give some kind of a red color here all right the next thing which i'm going to do is i'm going to add the bones here the fish bones for the the cause and effect diagram for that go to insert shapes select the line you can see here and draw a straight line by holding the shift key you can see here and release it shape outline i'm going to make it white shape outline give the weight and increase the weight maybe to four quarter or four and a half make sure it is properly aligned all right it looks something like this and then go to the insert shapes i'm going to add one more line here which looks something like this kind of a fish bone and leave it again make it a white and give the same weight here all right then right mouse click go to the format shape here either the begin arrow type or end arrow type we can just choose the right uh, the this arrow for example for begin arrow type i would like to choose this one which is the oval arrow and it looks like this but the problem is it should be the other side not the begin it should be the end all right so again let me just go back here so begin arrow type i'll make it none the end arrow type i'm going to select this one and the end arrow size i'm going to make it a bigger one so it looks something like this then hold the control shift key drag it for the second one and then you can just increase the size for the second all right move it a little bit i'm going to move this a little bit here and again hold the control shift key move it towards the right and you can give some equal spacing then I'm going to select these three options. Sorry, this one, the line, these three lines. Press Ctrl G to group it. Ctrl D to duplicate, rotate. I'm going to make it flip vertical. And I'm going to put it here like this. You can see. All right. And then press Ctrl Shift G to ungroup. And this also Ctrl Shift G to ungroup it. All right. Again, if you want to add more uh, shapes, I can add one small, this triangle draw a small triangle by holding the shift key shape outline make it no outline shape fill i'm going to make this as white and then rotate i'm going to select rotate right 90 degrees and put it here okay and hold the control shift key one will come here 
and then another will come here all right so it looks something like this the design the next thing which i'm going to do is i'm going to insert the text so first one is zero one option you can make it bold if you want you can reduce the size and i'm going to place it exactly in the circle hold the control shift key and drag it here select both the one hold the control shift key drag it down all right and then i'm going to press ctrl d i'm going to drag it one here and hold the ctrl shift key and drag it down okay so this is one this is two this is three option then this is four this is five and this is six so depending on the requirement you can increase or decrease these fish bones all right then go to the insert text box i'm going to say option right aligned if you want you can make it bold and press ctrl d and you can just add detail text here again this one remove the bold and make the font maybe 12 and put it here align it properly so this one and this press ctrl g to group it ctrl d to duplicate and this is for this option ctrl d for this and the same thing i'm going to hold the ctrl shift key and i'm going to copy it at the bottom so you can see here i've added the option one two three four five six okay and if you like to give more kind of a teeth and all those things you can go to insert shapes from the lines i'm going to choose this one which is freeform shape you can see here just click here and i'm just going up making a zigzag lines like this okay just to replicate kind of a, a teeth so just click it here attach it and click here shape outline no outline shape fill the same blue color i'm going to copy the same thing now press ctrl d rotate i'm going to make it flip vertical and put it here as well all right so select this this and this press ctrl g to group it and send this to back so you can see here i've added teeth and this is the cause and this is the effect okay so you can see here the same thing whatever i did here the same thing i'm replicating all right so this is the effect if you want you can make it bold and white so you can see here you can just do something like this and then if you want to add some animation you can just go to the animations enable the animation pane i'm going to select this one add animation from the uh, emphasis i'm going to select this teeter okay so it looks something like this just double click this one and timings i'm going to make it very slow and repeat until end of the slide and click ok so it moves something like this and i'm going to copy the animation painter with the help of the animation painter on this particular small fish as well sorry this is actually copied on the text so let me just delete and i'm going to select both of this press ctrl g to group it okay now i can copy the animation here and this should happen with previous okay if you want to delay something you can just delay also so if i play sorry if i play when i click it is something like this you can see here again if you want to add some water effect and all those things again you can add some icons go to insert icons so let me just select water type water here and you got wide variety of uh, you can see here I can just choose this water or I can just choose this one also whichever you feel better choose that one maybe I'm going to select this one click insert move this aside right mouse click again group ungroup give click on yes again right mouse click group ungroup so I don't want this much this all this one I need only this press ctrl g to group it and increase the size you can see here and you can just give some different color some different color as water make sure that the water is more bigger than here all right and press ctrl d one more time 
and I'm going to put it here now for this you can add animation go to the animations add animation scroll down and the custom path here I'm just going to make it like this so it is going here like this you can see all right so now what happens here is this one should happen with previous now if I play so you can see here it it shows something like this all right and double click this one remove the smooth start smooth end auto reverse timings you make it slow click ok and uh, this repeat until end of the slide and click ok and here I'm just going to increase the size all right so now if you see here all right then I'm going to send this to back shape format send to back all right and the same animation I can just copy for this also go to the animations animation painter click on this and this one maybe you can just do the other way around you can increase the uh, the duration maybe you can make it medium until in the slide so many things you can just do it and this can be delayed also so now if I play when I click it comes something like this you can see because the size is smaller that's the reason it is coming so I'm going to increase the size for this as well and if you want you can just give some different color to it some light color if you want you can just make it a tilt a little bit all right so now you can see here it looks something like this all right so this way you can just make this cause and effect more uh, fun and more engaging for the audiences.